Hey guys, today I am going to show you my manga collection up to this point. It's not the biggest, but it's got some pretty cool manga in it, and I'm really proud of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. So to start off, I have the Maximum Ride series by James Patterson, 1 through 7. This is a really, really cool manga. It's written in the normal style uh, that American books are written in, uh, so you don't read it backwards. But the quality is really good. It's slightly bigger than the size of the shonen manga that I have by other publishers. Next I have Doubt Volumes 1 and 2. These are really really good. They are super creepy and they are also by Yen Press but they are read in the traditional manga style. Next we have Sword Art Online. This is the first one. It's sort of an omnibus or a bind up of the first sort of uh, better half of the anime. And then we also have the second manga book that is out and this is the fairy dance when you get into the other world. Next we have Ultimo by Marvel. Stan Lee is the one who created this manga and it is really good. I have volumes 1 through 8 of Ultimo and they're still making them so I plan on continuing those. Then I have Tagami Baki by Hiroyuki Asada and it is really really good manga. I have volumes 1 through 5 of it but there's uh, quite a few of those. There's about 15 I think and so I'm still reading through those right now. Next we move up to my next shelf which has some manga, some regular books and I have Shoulder of Coffin Kuro. This is a good manga. It's not the best. Um, it's just okay and it's for sort of a younger audience. And then we have Zombie Loan by Peach Pit and it's pretty cool. Um, I've only read the first one so far. And last but not least, I have Black Bard, which is this really huge manga. It's really cool, and it is about a traveling bard who has powerful music that can do all sorts of cool things. So that's my manga collection so far. I hope to continue to grow it, and I will keep you guys posted as I update my collection. If you like manga and Japanese snacks and all those cool things, be sure to hit the subscribe button, because you're not going to want to miss some of the upcoming videos that I have planned.